Lord. Hallelujah, God. Lord, we thank you. Hallelujah. Bienvenidos todos personas. Good in time. Anyo aseo. Machi es ama. Sim chao. Hallelujah. Listen, we say God bless you and welcome to our International Church of God by Faith 10 Days of Prayer and Consecration. We welcome you to our fifth day of 10 days of prayer. And so even at this moment right now, we thank God for everyone in this International Church of God by Faith joining us live. Uh, we thank God for those not in by faith, those who are um, in uh, our sister organizations, those in the kingdom of God at large joining us in the playback. But once again, I'm your host, Minister Cornelius Dunmore, Star Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leadership of presiding Bishop James Knight Jr. We thank God for our district elder, uh, Elder Gainey, uh, Gainey district there's no one district greater than another though and I thank God for uh, Elder Michael Stevenson, you have heard him even yesterday. Glory to God. And we thank God that we represent your host team for this International Church of God by Faith Prayer. And so here we are on this fifth day. And I want to thank God, as I already said uh, in the opener uh, or leading up to this time, I thank God that we are joined this morning by Minister Aaron Hutchinson, Palatka District. And so he's poised to take us forward. But I thank God that we're not just sitting on the sidelines and listening to this prayer. Preacher, glory to God, but I think that all of us are poised to raise our voices. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. We have all been given power to open our mouths, glory to God, and use what God has given us for his glory. And on this fifth day, I'll say it again, we're praying that, that we as an international church of God by faith, that we would aggressively walk in the light of Vision 2020. 25. I said it before, glory to God. If you want to get an understanding of the word aggression, you just think back to that last quarterback that you saw get sacked into the turf. You saw that lineman. You saw that defensive end. He came around the side and just, boom, and just knocked him, you know, back five, six yards or whatever it might be. That's aggression. And that we want to aggressively walk in the light of Vision 2025, not passively, not timidly, not barely, but aggressively. What is the Vision 2025? What is our tenement that we would develop transformational churches, that we would expand church benefit services, that we would cultivate a generation of dreamers? That's Psalms 145. One generation shall praise his works to another and declare his mighty acts. That's why I asked for uh, second century and uh, other dreamers and believers and, and on these prayer calls. We have to cultivate a generation of dreamers. Also, we are establishing a new Church of God by Faith ministries, affiliate ministries, brand new ministries from the ground up. Glory to God. That's a part of our Vision 2025, and also that we would build a new uh, International Church of God by Faith ministry complex. These are the tenets of Vision 2025. We are about to cross over into, the, into 2024, so it's now time for us to aggressively pursue and to walk in the light of this vision. Habakkuk, you know it. Habakkuk chapter 2, the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. It has been written already. It is on uh, literal tables. It is on digital tables. But we've got to read this vision. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and lie, not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And so with that now, let's go ahead and let's receive uh, Minister Hutchinson, and let's join him as we raise our voices over this 102nd General Assembly. Glory, glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, hallelujah. God, we thank you right now, God. God, we come before you right now, God, uh, lifting up your name, God. You are the creator of the universe. You are the, our Maker, you are our lover, God. You saved us by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, God. And that is the foundation. That is the reason why we're here, to serve you and to magnify your name, God. There is no one that can do like you do, God. And now we come before you right here, oh God, the National Church of God by faith. 
on this prayer line together, corporately praying and reaching out to you with our voices, God, boldly coming before your throne, God, asking you to help us with this vision, God, vision 2025, God. Oh, God, right now we pray for the International Church of God by faith, God, to aggressively walk in the light of vision 2025, God. Oh, God, help us to be diligent, God. Help us to be aggressive with this vision, God, with walking in the light of it, God. Oh, God, everything that we need to do, God, let us be bold and let us be vigilant and let us be uh, uh, excited about this vision, God. Oh, God, we just ask that you help us to uh, accomplish it, God. Oh, God, within time, God. Oh, God, we just ask that you help us to to uh, walk in this vision that you have given our leaders, God. Oh, God, help it to line up with your word, God. Oh, God, to upbuild your kingdom, God, so that souls will be saved, God, so that people will come to your precious life, God, so that uh, bondage of chains of, of, of sin are broken, God, the chains of bondage of financial difficulty are broken, God, the chains of bondage of Sickness is broken all throughout the nation and all through, over the world through the help and hands of, of your vessels who work through church and God by faith, God. Oh, God, as you said in John, first chapter 9 through 10, oh, God, we, you said that there was the true light, which is which coming into the world enlightened every man. He was in the world, and the world was made through him. He and the world, the, 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 through him and the world, did not know him, God. You are that light. Jesus, you are that light, God, that came through the world, God. The, you made the world, and you was in the world, God. Oh, God, your own did not receive you, God, and you are this light, God. Oh, God, light, be a light to our path, God. Oh, God, we just ask that you uh, be a lamp unto our feet, God. We ask that you guide our steps, God. Oh, God, we just ask that you give us visions, God. Give us dreams, God, of how to maneuver throughout this world, how to, to, to set goals and, and how to accomplish those goals, God. Oh, God, we just ask that you be our guiding light, God, that you would guide us through our, our difficult times, God. Guide us through the, the trouble, that, the obstacles that may come to, to try to block us, God. Help us to keep that aggression that we will mow over those, God, those obstacles, God, and we will accomplish this vision, God. Oh, God, we can't do it without your leading. We can't do it without, without your Holy Spirit, God. We need you in every aspect of our life, God. Oh, God, in Proverbs 29 and 18, you said that where there is no vision, the people are under strength, but, they, but happy is he who keeps the law, God. Oh, God, we just ask for you to give us this vision, God. Oh, God, you've given us a wonderful bishop. You've given us wonderful uh, executive council. God, you've given us wonderful superintendents, elders, ministers, deacons, and everyone, every auxiliary, God. You've given us these people, God. Give this vision to these people so that they may lead us, God. Lead us into to, to the, the, the vision 2025. God, that these goals are accomplished throughout as we're coming up to the year and throughout the year, God. Oh, God, we just ask that you help us, God. Help us on every hand, God. Oh, God, we need you in every aspect, God. Financially, we need you, God. Oh, God, help the church of God by faith financially, God. Oh, God, we, we have those giving uh, opportunities, God, to, 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 to invest and, and to, to grow, God. We just ask that you help to even expand that even more, God, in this Jesus' name, God. Oh, God, put in the heart of the people to, to be able to pour into the ministry, God, so that we can uplift your kingdom, God. Habakkuk 2 and 2 says that the that the Lord, Lord answered me and said, uh, record the vision and inscribe it on tablets that the one who reads may run, God. 
oh God, I noticed in this verse that it says, I'm going to describe it on tablets. It literally means it's written in stone, God. Oh God, that your vision would not perish, God. It would not go by the wayside. Oh God, that your word would not go out void, but it would accomplish that what it's come out to do, God. Oh, God, we just ask that you help us, God. Oh, God, help us. We are your vessels, God. Oh, God, God, when we fall by the way, God, when we sin, when we come short, God, oh, God, forgive us, God, and so that your vision may be accomplished, God. Do not take this vision away from us, God. You, God, we say that it's written on tablets, God, and so right now we just ask that you help us to run with this vision, God. It is already written, God. It is already established, God. Oh, God, we just want to run with this vision, God. And God, give us the resources that we need to do this vision, God, in Jesus' name. Oh, God, in Psalms, uh, 145 and 4, it says, One generation shall praise your work to another and shall declare your mighty acts, God. Oh, God, we will declare, we promise to declare your words to the next generation, God. And not only that, but that generation also declare your words to us, God. As we declare your words and your mighty acts to one another, God, oh, God, we will lift your name, God. Oh, God, we will magnify you. We will glorify you, God, because you are worthy. Oh, God, it is not us that is carrying out this vision on our own, God. But we understand that we are just merely vessels that you are using, God, to carry out this vision, God. And, God, we just ask that you help us in the name of Jesus, God. We ask that you help us to carry out this vision. And, God, as we declare your word, as we declare your glory, as we declare your honor on this earth, God, oh, God, we ask that you help you make us a light, God, to the world, God, that as we declare you, as we lift you up, God, men will see the light, God, and glorify your name, God, that people, that non-believers, God, atheists, agnostics, that they will see the light that is coming from not only church about my faith, but every every church, every organization that lifts your name in the way that the word says to do, God. Every person that is not serving idols, but serving the true and living God, that they will be a light to other people that need to see that light, and they need to succumb to that light. They need to submit to the light. They need to glorify the light, which is the same light that is in John 1, 9, and 10, God. Oh, God, you are that light, God, and we worship you, and we worship you in spirit and in truth, God. Nehemiah 6 and 3 says that, so I sent messengers to them, saying, I am doing a great work, and I cannot come down. Why should I stop the work while I leave it and come down to you, God? We understand that we are on assignment, God. This work is the most important work in the entire world, God. Oh, God, to win souls, God, for the kingdom of God. <laughs> that we win souls for the kingdom of God. Oh, God, help our, our witness to be true, God. Yeah. Oh, God, correct our doctrine, God. Yeah. Correct us in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. The answer to the promises of God, they are yea and amen. They are yes and amen, hallelujah, his word, hallelujah, glory to God, he said, so shall my word be, which goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and prosper in the thing whereto I sent it, his word is not coming back without fulfilling the purpose for which he intended, and so we thank God that where his word has gone, we can, our answer is 
yes and amen. Our cry is yea and amen to the promises of God. He did say in Second Peter chapter 1, he said, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto you do well that you take heed as a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your heart. Glory to God. And so I thank God this morning for uh, Minister Hutchinson, Palaka District, man of God, we thank God for you. Uh, man, just through the word, uh, just cast a net of scripture, glory to God, over our 102nd General Assembly, over this Vision 2025, glory to God, over uh, these aspects and these tenements of the vision, glory to God. He spoke and uh, just lifted up the, the more sure word of God over this vision, and as we are transitioning, uh, looking and, and heading, leaning into 2024, glory to God, our aggression level is increasing, glory to God. We are aggressively now, we got it locked in like a pilot in a, uh, in a jet, in an F-35, glory to God. We got it locked on the target, glory to God. We're locked on to Vision 2025. You've seen them quarterbacks. You saw them out there. They were running for their life running for them safeties, glory to God. And that's how we are after this Vision 2025. We're running them down like they ran down that quarterback and sat them for a loss, loss of uh, 28 yards and this, that, and the other. And so that's the mindset that we have as it pertains to aggressively walking in the light of Vision 2025. I heard Minister Hutchinson mention Nehemiah. Glory to God. Nehemiah told him, he said, that why should I come down off this wall and come down to you? The work is too great. God is too big. Glory to God. I have the high view of him. I can't come down from where I am. Glory to God. And, and get engaged in pettiness and foolishness. I can't do that. I have such a high view of him. I can't come down off this wall. I heard him when he spoke about that. Glory to God. And so our mindset, our attitude, our Aggression is the same. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I heard as the minister was speaking, he was encouraging us about what he said in uh, Proverbs chapter 29. He said it. <clears throat> we know it. Glory to God. Where there's no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. The message says it like this, that when people can't see what God is doing, they stumble all over themselves. But when they attend to what he has revealed, they are most blessed. Glory to God. And so we're challenged to attend to what God has already revealed. Glory to God. Are we attending to it? How, one of the ways you can attend is to be a by-faith partner. Are you attending to by-faith partners? Is it coming out? Glory to God. Are you an investor yet? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I thank God. Sam and Abby, glory to God. They got the CDs in their name and all this, that, and the other. But are, are we attending? To what has been revealed? Are we attending to it? That's what he said in Proverbs 29. Glory to God. And so we thank God for that spirit. But it's not just the financial, but it is a big part of it. Glory to God. It's, no, it's, it's not a coincidence. And it was intentional that God wanted it to be penned in Acts chapter 2. As we read about this outpouring of God's spirit, a part of that outpouring was financial. Glory to God. Because it, the scripture says in uh, Acts 2, glory to God, that all that believed were together. Glory to God. And they had all things common. They sold their possessions and goods and parted them to all men as every man had need. That's a part of the miraculous outpouring of God's power and glory. That's a part of it. Glory to God. So we can't minimize that. Thank you, Jesus. But we, it, it takes the spirit of the Lord to develop a transformational church, not a Laodicean church, glory to God, but a, but a transformational church, a Philadelphia spirited church that transcends a bishop and executive council, glory to God. Hallelujah. The, the spirit of the Lord, God, Jesus, it's in red letters. He told John. Glory to God, that he was the one. He's the Alpha and the Omega. Glory to God. He is the standard. He's the head of the church, the true life. He's the one that we should be fearful of. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. But it takes the spirit of the Lord 
God to raise up a transformational church, not a Laodicean church, but a transformational church. It takes the spirit of God moving on the heart of men and women to be intentional, to expand church benefit services. It takes the power of God and the intentionality of his Holy Spirit to cultivate a generation of dreamers. Glory to God. You're intentional. Glory. I saw Devin. He was up there in Bible study, opened up. Layla was standing right there next to him. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Are you, are, are, do you make room for these dreamers? Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You're the musician. Do you have that young, uh, that young uh, horn player, that young drummer? Is he right there next to you? Are we cultivating a generation of dreamers? Glory to God. Expanding and establishing our footprint. Glory to God. New International Church of God by Faith Ministries and Affiliates. It takes the Spirit of God and intentionality to do it. And then, the glory to God, to raise up a, 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 a Church of God by Faith Ministry Complex Vision 2025. I thank God this morning we are aggressively, we are intentionally, we are pursuing after this Vision 2025 and walking in it. Listen, we thank God for this 102nd General Assembly, Atlanta, Georgia, next Thursday, December the 14th through the 17th. We are going in the true light. Glory to God. We know that is Christ. We don't accept, we reject any other light. Glory to God. Except the true one, which is Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, we encourage you. Join us tomorrow for day six. Join Elder Stevenson and myself as we continue uh, go along with our prayer leaders to go deeper. Uh, we're about halfway through now. Glory to God. And so it's all downhill from here. And so listen, we love you. Go forward. Make it a great day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, hallelujah, and glory to God.